Welcome back, all you warriors. Another episode of Elite Landscapes Life Stories. Still at the castle property, still on Mulch Madness. <laughs> Got a different crew today, and um, also going to be doing some trimming on two Japanese maples. And uh, I'll show you what it looked like before and after. I'm not going to get any footage of trimming the thing, but uh, yeah, I'll show you what we got going on. And we got a new crew, so I'll show you the crew members we got working. So this is where we started today, back here on this backside, heading over here to the um, pond area. And the pond just got a deep cleaning, an extreme deep clean. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks really good. So this is all we got done today, this morning, and it is Saturday morning, because that's where we left off last video, right? The pond got a nice, nice deep clean to it, because it had a whole lot of sludge build up. And if you know anything about ponds, when you see sludge, it's got to be cleaned out. So here's... We got clean now, you can see it's nice. But up here, it's already getting sludgy. And that needs to be taken care of. Comes off these plants. So we'll come in here and clean the filters out again, add some more water, because you need to keep this flow going hard. And it's low right now. This is where the water level should be. So we definitely need to add water. So I did come out and trim that one last week. Got it nice and umbrellaed up and uh, took off a lot of the overgrowth on it. I got these two here, I'll show you. This little guy gets trimmed back every two years. So we'll do a good prune on him. We got one down here at the pond. You can see how he's all overgrown, crazy looking right now. So get him trimmed up. Mulch this little area here. And for those of you guys that um, kind of didn't think that dyed mulch does fade after rains. It does. We got rain on here yesterday. Well, two days ago. And that compared to that, that's nice and dark. It's faded a little bit and it's kind of red now. So still looks good from a distance, I'll show you. And like many of us, the butterfly bushes took a hit this year in that cold snap, but they're coming back. They didn't die. I'll show you these uh, autolucan laurels. We did this whole landscape last year. <laughs> That's a lot of big holes. But they have a lot of good growth on them. Look. We had to replace two of them last year and um, they didn't have them in stock. So I replaced them with something different. Then I transplanted last week, put new ones in. <laughs> Show you the difference. So this one here is one we just bought and it's uh doesn't have new growth on it yet, but it's got the blooms because it just came out of the uh, greenhouse. But you take that compared to one that has new growth on it. A lot of new growth on this one. All of them. Very happy. We got Dalton doing the edging while I get ready to trim. Just had a few things left to touch up. So we did this landscape 
install last year just added the flowers and perennials to it turned out nice it did take a lot of uh stress last year from extreme heat the deer eating it and then extreme cold temperatures this winter but everything's coming back pretty good and we got two new crew members let me show you this crew member has been shoveling mulch all morning <laughs> how you feel good yeah feel good almost over that's right <laughs> she only got a couple wheelbarrows left and uh she's a happy camper this is the first time she's had to come out and work with me this year so not too bad and i've got my soccer player family member also helping today i'll show you who we got he's been on videos before he's on my uh tamping duty right now tamping all these edges in for us and here's elvin the man the legend <laughs> the one of my favorite players we ever had and he's been hanging out with us for <laughs> what 12 years now at least oh my god yeah man too long. Yep, he's amazing. Extremely happy and extremely grateful to have him out here helping me out because we were down a couple people. Let me check back in. We'll trim these trees and uh, show you what else he's been doing. All right, finally finished up that trailer. Let me show you what we got trimmed on those jet maples. Real quick. All right, so I got to replace this ground cover. It didn't come back this year. It's a cold freeze, but we'll put something nice and new in there. And she bought a plastic rock. To cover those, so we'll get two more of those. A little bit more mulching here in this property and uh, maybe a few new little bursts of color, like right here. And right here, a couple bursts right there, and uh, it'll make it look good. Oh, yeah, many thanks to my Saturday crew. <laughs> All right, so that's it, man. That's a wrap. Uh, like I always say, be good if you can. Always be kind, and above all, love each other. Peace, we landscape style.